Good morning everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, so today we are going to be finally cleaning out the stalls like I said we were going to. Um, it looks like this might be the last good stretch of weather we have um, to let the cows out on the pad and in the freestall. Um, after that it's just going to be the freestall so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be cleaning out these dirty stalls um, just to get ready for the girls coming in for winter and staying for a little longer periods of time. So that is what we're going to be doing today. But the girls are still in right now. They're eating a dry bale. Um, the bale and roller is right here because we're going to also feed them a wrapped bale this morning um, before they go outside. So I have to do that in a minute before we start milking. But while the cows are still in, I remembered that I had been introducing cows to you guys. So I will do that before they go out. So this morning we have, this is Bobby Jo. She's a lineback brown Swiss cross. Um, she is about four and a half. She's actually one of the heifers that we raised. So um, this is her third calf, I believe. She is about five months along with her third calf. She's a really good natured cow. Um, doesn't really have any quirks yet because she's still pretty young. So um, there's not really much to share about her. She doesn't like being um, dipped or wiped, but she doesn't mind being milked. I guess that's something I could say about her. Um, she's a very good natured cow for a young cow, um, but yeah. She's a good girl, um, but she hasn't really come into her strange personality that these cows usually get. Um, I do love her like black ears. That just gets me every time. It looks like somebody dipped them in like black paint. Just the cutest. Okay, that's Bobby Joe. Another one from the right side. So this one right here is Norma. She is a Normandy Holstein cross. Um, she's about six years old. Um, we bought her from an auction as a heifer. Um, something about her would be that she always looks like super surprised because you can always see the whites of her eyes. So she always looked like she always has this like shocked face expression. So yeah, that's Norma. I thought I would show you guys those two cows before um, before they went out and we got into our day. So also something that I wanted to mention was yesterday morning was kind of a rough morning. Um, I was outside getting cornmeal and Brent was hauling out and running the cleaner. Um, and the cleaner was running and I could hear it creaking along like it always does and then I just heard this really loud bang. Um, and then I couldn't hear it creaking anymore so I knew that something had happened so I ran inside and the chain, the barn cleaner chain was not moving. Um, so I was like, oh no. So I went and shut that off. Brent came down. Um, and we had to flip up these three plates, the one that Bale and Will were sitting on, and these two, um, so we could get a good look at it. Um, and we finally did find that the plate right here, underneath this plate, it had broken in half, and I'll actually show you that. So it actually broke right off the flight. Um, if you take a good look at it, it looks like this one has been broke for a while. And this one just finally let go of all the stress, I guess. Um, so we had to replace that link um, and a new flight. So needless to say, we got done rather late yesterday morning. But um, the barn cleaner chain is 10 years old. So that's about, I guess, as much life as they get out of them. So um, hopefully it doesn't break again. We've run it twice and it seems fine. Um, so. Fingers crossed that we don't have any more troubles with that this year, but that was quite a process because it actually ran it off um, the end gear there. It has little sprockets that it sits on when it turns around. It ran it off that. Um, so we had to just kind of readjust everything and pull the chain around, and it was a whole thing. So yesterday morning was really fun, but it's been going well so far after that. So yeah, so today we're just going to be cleaning out the stalls, and hopefully nothing goes wrong there. So. We're gonna milk the girls and then let's get into our day. Okay, so the girls are all outside. Um, well, except the one that you can see down there. Um, but the reason she stays in is because she's like 14. Not that that matters, it's still pretty young for around here, but she has no idea how to lay in a stall outside. She lays way too close to the front and she can't lunge. Um, so she'll try to get up a few times and then she'll just give up and we have to help her up. Um, so we just got tired of helping her up because she has no idea how to get up. So um, when they can't go out to pasture, we leave her in the barn. She can go out to pasture just fine. But if they're just going to go out in the freestall and on the pad, she just can't do it because she can't get up. 
So here are the stalls. They have gotten worse since the girls have been spending more time inside. Um, you can see this one's pretty bad. This one's mostly just sawdust. That one's built up pretty bad. So we are going to get those cleaned out today. So Brent said our plan is going to be, he's going to use the skid steer. He can actually get over this gutter with a skid steer and scoop a lot of it out with his bucket. Some of the bad stalls like this. So he's going to do that. And I'm just going to scrape up what's left with a shovel um, or maybe scrape the stalls that aren't bad with a shovel. And I'm going to throw it in the middle walk. Um, and he's going to scrape it outside, I believe, so that we can scoop it up with the Kubota bucket. Um, and then we'll take it down to the pit. But I think as we get closer to that end, he's going to push it out there, and then he's going to push it out the free stall and out, the, out into the pit that way. So that is the plan. We are going to lime them as soon as we're done, and then we're going to let that sit all day, and then we'll come back tonight when we're going to milk them, and we'll throw some sawdust on top of that, let the girls in, and it should be good to go. So I am getting tired just looking at all of these so uh, I'm gonna get a head start on it right now Brent is running the wash so he will be out in a minute but I think I'm gonna get a head start before I just sit down and look at it and get more discouraged so well, I guess the plan is already changed she's putting it all out there to go. I am so tired. stalls are clean. You can see I lined the first few stalls. Um, Brent is over putting the bucket on the Kubota um, so that we can carry off the pile of stuff that he pushed out and I want to show you guys that because it's kind of unbelievable. So 
that is all of it. It's a lot. Okay. I guess he was just carrying the bucket over here so he could put it on better. Anyway, that is the whole pile of stuff that we need to carry off. We're going to do that as soon as we're done lining the barn. So, um, I'm still working on the first bag, but I think maybe I need to do them a little heavier because I'm not really putting that much down, but I want to make sure that I definitely have enough to finish. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, just doing like a base coat and seeing what I can do with the bag. And then I will open up the other two bags and go from there. So yeah, that was pretty exhausting. That is hard work. Um, even though I wasn't traveling out much, Brent was doing most of the work with the skits here. Um, it's still pretty hard on your back. So I'm gonna go home after this and take it easy. <laughs> to get a good shot of dumping the manure in the pit so I decided to walk into the pit to set my camera down. It was a very bad idea <laughs> but I got a pretty good shot so picked up um, and we're gonna call that a day because we're both pretty exhausted so um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching this video um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video so bye guys